Well, this is a follow-up on my print uh, on my flock uh, from yesterday, and I want to show you that it looks totally different now. The problem was the Teflon tube. I had to change it, and uh, I don't know what happens, but it is damaged at the end. So there was coming filament. I don't know if you can see it here in the old heat block on the hot end here, outside between the nozzle and uh, the Teflon tube. So I changed the Teflon tube, and now I got this result. So let's try again. Uh, this is uh, printed without heat on a heated bed. No glue, no hairspray, no nothing. So let's see if it easily get off again. Look here. Beautiful. Beautiful on all sides. Even the top looks good. The 0 0.2 it has a little string here, but otherwise it's gorgeous. It's really amazing. I have a brim. It has been too close, but um, it's, it's it's easy to fix. So now I'm happy. My Z axis, my Y axis, and my Z axis looks really great. Really great. So, I think uh, that uh, printing on PLA on plexiglass is quite suitable, so I will try to do a bigger print. So, what I want to do is I want to print um, a bigger part, and uh, this will be my D3P logo, and this is only text, so I will use uh, Autodesk 123D Design for doing this very easy logo. And I want to do the 70 millimeters high, and I want to use Impact as the font. So here we go. I click OK, I click on this one, and we extrude them to be 6 millimeters. Okay, this we now export as an SDL file and then we will uh, import it into Simplify 3D. So now we are in Simplify 3D and let me take the import. Let's turn around. I want the front so I can look at when I want to film it. So I rotate my Z axis with uh, 90 degrees. But because of the smooth surface of the, of the plexiglass, I want to turn the letters around 180 degrees on the y-axis. This means that the surface will now be down on the plexiglass. So when we are finished printing, you will have it like that. This is a button. So I need to center and arrange again. And I want to move them a little bit forward, that we do here. So, slice the whole thing, 2 hours 10 minutes, and we should have our logo in letters with a beautiful surface. So let's uh, start the print and see what's coming out of the A-net. The print is done, and what you see here is the back side of our letters. So I will glue them on my wall with a glue gun, and uh, yeah. So one of the advantages 
of using the PLA is my own fact. We can take it off. And compared to glass, we can even bend it a little bit and it will loosen much easier. Let me get some tool here. It was number one. That's the P. Looks just amazing. And we can give it a, a little bit here. Here it crack. And our tree. Gorgeous. And the D. So that gives us a beautiful surface and it looks like this D3P Danish tree printing. Thank you for watching. See you soon again.